Let's see what the influence is of negating an x and a y of a graph. So let's start with a point here, for instance, 1, 2. And we'll graph that 1, 2. Now if we negate the x, it causes a reflection over the y-axis. And if we negate the y-value, it causes a reflection over the x-axis. The same property is true for graphs of functions, like y equals the square root of x. Let's graph that. And if we do negate the x, it causes a reflection over the y-axis. And if we negate the y, it causes a reflection over the x-axis. This property is true for all functions. So, for instance, if we graph y equals the y equals x squared, and we negate the y, it causes a reflection over the x-axis. And if we negate the x, it causes a reflection over the y-axis. In this case, the original graph maps onto itself after reflection over the y-axis, so you don't see any change. And we can verify that algebraically because negative x squared is the same as x squared. And that gives you an idea of what happens when you negate the x or negate the y for a graph.